Should you do repairs on your house before listing it for sale? The answer to this is absolutely. Now, the bigger question is what repairs do you do, right? Of course, anything that you know about that you can address, yes. If you were buying a house today, do you wanna buy a fixer upper or do you wanna buy a house that has a very small honey to do list? Most buyers today wanna to move in ready home. So one of the best things you can do to prepare your house and figure out what, you, what it is you need to do and what you don't need to do is get a pre-inspection on your property. A pre-inspection, look at it like a report card. So you hire a home inspector, it's anywhere between $300 to $500, just depending on the age of the home and the square footage of the home. And they're gonna give you approximately a 60 page report of the condition of the home. Everything from the crawl space to the attic, to the windows, to the appliances. And you can look at this list and say, okay, did I get an A, did I get a B, did I get a C? And whatever grade you get, do you wanna increase that? Now, if you decide, I don't wanna do any repairs on my house, I wanna sell it as is, that's okay too. Having that report card, look at it as full disclosure. When a buyer wants to buy your house, you hand them the report so that at least they know what they're getting into before they enter into a contract. If you take an offer from a buyer and you go, it's called pending, and then they do their own home inspection, then they look at the report and they start wanting things done. Well, now the, the deal can fall apart because you're renegotiating versus full transparency. If you hand them that pre-inspection prior to entering into a contract, at least they know the condition of the home. Now, if you do this report and you look at it as, okay, these are the items that I want to address, you can address those items, then you can call the home inspector back, pay him an extra $100 and they'll rewrite the report. Now you can line item the items that you fix, but at least they're addressed and somebody's buying a house that has less for them to do. Now you gotta remember buyers today, some of them, don't know the difference between a Phillips or a flathead screwdriver, and that's okay. They want a move-in ready home. They don't wanna do repairs. So the more that you can do to make this home feel like a home and not a project, the better chance you have of getting top dollar for your house. So that's my answer. Should you do repairs? Absolutely. I'm Matt Steele, Steele Realty Group. If you're thinking of selling your house, give me a call, see if I can help you out. Take care.